What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up. Say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. After Ethereum, my second biggest holding is Cardano. Currently I have about 2800 Cardano and I'm planning to add more to this every month. The end goal for me is to have close to 10,000 in my portfolio. I strongly believe that by the year 2031, each Cardano will be worth $100 which means at a current price of $1.60, a $10,000 investment could be worth over half a million dollars in 10 years. Now of course, I don't have a crystal ball and this is speculation, but wait, let me explain why I think this is going to happen. Cardano is supposed to be an Ethereum killer because it's supposed to do everything that Ethereum does, but much better. It also has the advantage of having a strong standing in the academic world, this is because everything that's implemented on Cardano is peer-reviewed by scientists all over the world. This means that although Cardano is slow to implement their product roadmap, the final product is of the best and highest quality. You see, if Bitcoin and Ethereum went through the same peer-review process that Cardano is going through, they wouldn't face three major problems that they face today. These three major problems need to be solved for crypto to become an everyday staple. These major problems are sustainability, interoperability, and scalability, which is exactly what Cardano aims to solve. Let's start with scalability. One big problem facing Ethereum is high gas fees. Essentially, whenever you want to send Ethereum, you have to pay a transaction fee in order for it to be completed. The average gas fee right now is more than $20, and some users have reported paying thousands in fees. While Cardano does have a fee, it's much, much cheaper than Ethereum. Could you imagine paying a minimum $20 fee on PayPal? The service wouldn't have survived for long if that were the case. Now the smallest tasks on Ethereum have become very costly because of these gas fees. Ethereum aims to solve this problem with Ethereum 2.0, but for now Cardano is leading the charge through a revolutionary blockchain innovation called Proof of Stake. Next, let's talk about sustainability. A cryptocurrency must have a self-sustaining economic model for all of its stakeholders, and it must have a governance model with flexible and rigid protocols to incentivize all stakeholders. This model should prevent destructive hard forks which led to the birth of Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash. Cardano is currently under the custody of IOHK, which handles the rapid development of the platform. Eventually, the goal is to make Cardano self-sustainable. There will be a blockchain-based method for proposing, vetting, and enacting changes to the protocol. There will be a treasury that will take a small fee from all the transaction fees, and at regular intervals, it will fund the future developments of Cardano. Another important problem that Cardano aims to solve is interoperability. Interoperability is a key ingredient missing in all cryptocurrencies today. For the massive adoption of crypto to become a reality, cryptocurrencies must connect to other cryptocurrencies and, and the outside world. Banks and financial institutions are seeking interest in crypto, but one major roadblock is interoperability. There should not be a single cryptocurrency to rule them all. Each project has its own principles, solutions, and philosophy. Cardano recognizes these issues and is working on the solution. Cardano is also working on an ERC-20 converter, which would facilitate the transfer of tokens from the Ethereum network to the Cardano network. This would diversify the dApp ecosystem, which is currently ruled by Ethereum. You see, Cardano and Ethereum are both trying to become the best platforms for designing smart contract technology. They're both trying to become the Amazon Web Services of the cryptocurrency space. In other words, they want to be the best platforms for other technologies to be built on top of. And given how Cardano is solving a lot of the issues that Ethereum is currently facing, there is a good chance that it emerges as the victor in this scenario. But even if it doesn't, the pie is certainly big enough for both currencies to flourish. I own both Ethereum and Cardano in my portfolio, and I believe the future is bright for both. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.